Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's the We Play Lock and Load, and it's Virtus Pro taking on Gambit. I think this is our final best of one of today, Alex, and this should be interesting. Not a good day for Paulie's Counter Strike just yet, but well, let's see if Virtus Pro can turn that one around. Well, it's not a great start for them. Bombdick gets a long range headshot with the Glock. The B site is under lockdown from Gambit, and Virtus Pro have to try and go for this retake. They have a defuse kit in the hands of Tau, but they've got to get some kills first, and currently they're not finding any frags. Hey, who spots a player close? There's the one tap. There's a couple more players on the opposite end of that. Kind of weird getting used to the new Virtus Pro logo. Well, by Ali, he's gonna move on up. There's the headshot back and forth. They go Dozier, the last man alive. One versus four. The Molotov coming in. It's gonna land on the spot, but the defuse is already coming through. The smoke is on it as well. That's the defuse, me who gets it, and a uh, headshot from the alley to end it all. So good cleanup from Virtus Pro. Yeah, kills coming through, it's a man advantage there for Gambit, but pulled back, Snatchy arrives to the party. He's got himself a kill with the AWP, and the bomb is on the floor. 22 seconds left, and Gambit need to get across to that bomb site. It's going to be incredibly difficult having Tao and Snatchy just waiting inside of the connector together. Bomb will get planted if Bondic will confirm so, and the bomb is actually planted for Ivy. There's a player already in there, so this retake will be difficult for Virtus Pro, but definitely possible. They've got utility to make it work. Ooh, Snatchy gets the wall bang over towards Dozier, and he follows it up with the second. Beautifully done by Snatchy in the retake. And the defuse should come through shortly, just before Tao upgrades to the AK. But very well done from Snatchy there, landing some nice shots to win the round. Gambit really taking their time here. They're wanting to make sure they have everything well set up, but Bialy continues his success in Pop Dog. The nade's finally coming towards the site as Mir leads the way. There's the opening he was looking for. Trades continue to come through, and it's VP who get a flurry of frags and stop Gambit in their tracks. This is another round where VP just shut Gambit out of the A site. The hold at long range, he'll happily take that fight all day long, and Gambit might go for some fast aggression, this time into the B-bomb site, switching up the pace of play as Tao does get overrun. Sachi needs to land oh. the flick, and he finds it all towards Mo. Bialy comes through and drops the bomb, and great work from Snatchy again. Oh, yeah, close for the P250, but Snatchy just rips him apart. It's a triple for Snatchy right now he was holding the angle ready for the peak and at least mo gets one kill back towards ivy brings it into a 4v4 and gambit start to push ivy for one of the first times in this entire map actually yeah, that's the bomb will be collected for this pro this might be the first time they've been under pressure so far in this matchup me who will hear them running back towards the b side of the map and bondix already through Town needs to be careful. Bondic is right beside him. His teammates ro uh, rotating there as well, and there's the shot. Finally, Mo strikes. There's a couple more players nice and close, but Mo has got the double. The rotate's coming in, though. The aggression has come into A main. It's a four man B stack for VP Dinko. This is going to be so tricky for Gambit. Well, here they go, running into the bottom side. VP have already eliminated two players. Gambit having to walk through, and me, who's got the iron goal, he's got the headshot as well. And Bondic left alone. One versus five with no time on that clock. Probably better dying so they can get some cash into the next one. For it. Already four players in towards the brown halls. Tau is alone towards B, but Snacks has rotated over. These two orgs trying to lock down the B site, but Bombic rushes out through the upper position. Tau isolated on the site. Some kills come back in as Snacks doubles down. The bomb is now dropped on the site and Gambit in trouble again. They have to try and recover the bomb, and that may be slightly harder than you expect, but by Ali, they prevent them from getting anywhere near that bomb. Dozier has got the long-range SG, gets one, but again, Snacks is there to instantly trade. He's really confident. He looks like he's here to play in this tournament. Already up there at 18 kills on this map, and he's a player in the past who was great for Virtus Pro. So for him to find some form in this tournament is definitely a good sign. And up against the eco, this round is going as you would expect. Bialy just claiming scalps <laughs> in towards A main. This is the Bialy we like to see. Advantage for Gambit, but Bialy is so ballsy. I love it. Bialy gets the headshot. 
beautifully done with the aggression coming up towards the top of pot and Bialy going back up the ladder to join his teammate who has pushed through B. Gives them all the information that it has to be an A play, but Gambit are already on the site. Might be time for Gambit to get a third. One will be planted and Dozier waiting for Snatchy to walk into his crosshair. Although Snatchy is definitely just waiting for someone to walk into his as well. Game of chicken and Dozier's got a peek first. There's the headshot. Snatchy ripped apart. And Bialy and Tao happy to come into the two versus three. Make it one. And Axel, okay, picks himself up a triple and gets the sick double at the end. That's three for Gambit. Not great, but I guess there's a sign of life towards the end. This is a interesting setup from Gambit. We're just pro walk into A main. There's literally no chance that at least one of them survives. Here they go. Snatchy is the first man to walk into the lion's den. Axel is the first man to peek. There's the kill. Snatchy dropped. At least they know at least one player is there. But perhaps that could work against Furtis Pro. Who? Does he want to go for this? There's only one player, he thinks. But there's actually two. Doesn't really matter. Axel finds the kill anyway. They think Amien's cleared. No, Tao has the info. He's going to peek it. Axel dropped. Finally, Furtis Pro pulling this one back. But still, a man down thanks to Dozier with the AUG. And with 15 seconds left, nowhere near a bomb site. It's going to be Gambit again, poked in another round win. Nine for them. Yeah, Bialy not close enough to the action to have an impact. Ends up being removed by Dozier into that A site. Bondix in quite a strong position to stop this push out through A main. There's also a smoke up, so Bondix not oh. going to get the kill. Snatchy also comes in with another frag for VP. That nade is on point though. Mo not going to get it done. He gets absolutely annihilated by Miku. And it's That's up not. to Dozier to win the clutch. He drops the bomb but doesn't get anything else done. Virtus Pro finally on the board on their T side. How are they going to get towards a site here? Bondix is holding up close. Bondix isn't looking the right way though. No one's watching Ivy right now, and Bondic might be in trouble. He's about to be flanked. Easy kill for Bialy, and that could be the difference maker. Axile sitting in towards heaven, and they haven't spotted him. Axile gets the timing right. Mihu will fall, and Axile stepping up for the 3k. Gambit get the round win, all thanks to their young star. They could try and sneak away with this round win. The smokes are in position, the push is coming to the site, and Gambit are willing to play for the retake. Quite good for Virtus Pro. It means they get a little bit of extra cash they can work with into the next gun round. Two pieces of utility, maybe a better gun, and well, it's going to catch Mihu coming into this. Virtus Pro still stand a chance of doing more damage to Gambit and picking up more kill reward for themselves. I wouldn't really say it matters too much to the Gambit economy. It's well built up, and he has moved his way in. There's Snacks in the late flank. He's got himself one, looking for a triple. But could have committed to one of the frags, but it's a double from Snatchy. He spins around, nearly finds Dozier, and this is nuts. Snatchy wins it, and Virtus Pro will take 14 off the back of pistols. Out of nowhere, Snatchy goes massive. Take most of the damage on board, drop to 55. Mihu there on 62, and a lot of near damage coming in from Gambit. Al is trying to pressure towards Ivy, and it's successful in winning that opening fight against Mo. And so the advantage is now with Virtus Pro. And there's still plenty of time to make a final decision on where they want to go. They have no need to commit, but Snacks has already pushed through. The smoke fades and Snacks just spots the head of Dozier. B is under wraps. No one is there for the CTs. And Virtus Pro might just get another round win here. VP are really taking their time here. Snacks is on the B site. Viali gets the kill on the edge of the smoke. And Axile and Mir will try to stick together. Snatchy is flanking from Connector. Great shot from Axile, but the AWP is in position. Snatchy replies with a kill of his own, and Tao, caught off guard, gets the shot. How does he win that fight? Me should have had that kill all day, every day. And it's, it's awesome to see some of the old style of VP coming through. A couple of the experienced players showing themselves to be good. And just as I say that, Snacks makes a bit of a mistake. Gives away his life, but Snatchy comes in for the trade. VP will look to come back into this round. They need to be careful here as well. The only being low makes him susceptible to death by pistol, but Tao's already picked up the headshot. Mo has been finished off, and Gambit edge one step closer to victory. Smokes off the pop dog. Bomb will eventually make its way in towards the A site. 
I just probably don't want to be caught by any of these pistols, so I'm making sure they've cleared all the angles, all the necessary nooks and crannies. Gambit are going to play for the retake. No kit alive, so they've got to move quickly. And Snatchy, he's here towards a mate. There's a player there, but he's not gonna peek just yet. They're waiting until every Gambit player is ready, but Snatchy, he finds the frag towards Pop Dog. That pushes Mir into the open. And Dozia in a one versus three. No kit alive. And Virtus Pro surely win it here. Finally, Dozy will pick up a kill as he strikes back into the site, but the time is ticking. There's no kit alive on Dozia, and it is Rodis Pro. They will be taking 16-12 here, and it's Fayali to finish it off. What a performance from Virtus Pro to claim back the pride of Polish Counter-Strike.